So you know that um, the uh, drug trafficking is really a problem for everybody in terms of security, in terms of health. Uh, in terms of security, you couldn't consider any traffic without any weapons or cash or prostitution or human trafficking and everything. Okay? That's the reason why we try, everybody try, to, uh, to uh, fight against that kind of trafficking. The produce of cocaine is approximately, the US colleagues estimated that, 1,500 metric tons each year. So, according to the source, we estimate that 400 tons, metric tons, is going to Europe, either directly or via Africa. Uh, it is exactly our target. Okay, and our target in the region, considering the fact that uh, the uh, produce is mainly located, of cocaine of course, is mainly located in Latin America, uh, we're considering the fact that we have to trigger in our region and along the arc. Consider the fact that uh, the uh, US and other nations are uh, struggling uh, from Latin America up to the north, up to uh, the, uh, the USA, Canada, and everything, everything, everywhere. So, uh, consider that, uh, as I said, 400 metric tons are departing from Latin America to the north, to Europe, either directly crossing the uh, Caribbean arc or via Africa. We have to mention that uh, the route uh, via Africa is more interesting for the traffickers. Why? Because this sector, Atlantic Ocean, is not as surveyed as we could survey the uh, Caribbean arc, of course. And um, we're working very hard, all the nations are working very hard on this uh, new route, we call that the uh, Highway 10, Highway 10th parallel from Latin America to Africa. We could consider that uh, every trafficker uh, could uh, be provided protection by crossing the boundaries. And they know that perfectly. Um, if we're working alone, the French on one side, the Dutch on the other side, the Saint Lucia, Dominican, and everybody on the other sides, we could consider that the action would be limited. On the contrary, if, you, if we gather our forces, as we, ex as we are doing very often in that region. And you have to consider that the distance between St. Lucia and Martinique is 18 miles. St. Lucia is 18 miles from Europe. Okay? Um, the uh, traffickers need 30 minutes to go from, an from one island to another. And that is exactly the reason why we have to uh, gather our forces and to organize international operation like this one, Lionfish, Atlantis, and so, so forth, uh, to be able to prevent traffickers to be protected by the boundaries. Every uh, drug trafficking organization do not consider boundaries and nations. They consider their current, their flow of traffic. And that is the reason why we have to cooperate very tight with the other nations, according to the local laws, of course, and according to the international laws, uh, to struggle against smuggle. Weapons, drug, illicit traffic, human trafficking, and everything. I'm very happy to welcome my colleagues from Interpol Europol during this Lionfish and Atlantis operation because of these two reasons. The first one is that we are directly connected to them and we are able to understand exactly the way they are working. And the second thing is that we open the doors of all the system which is dedicated normally to struggle against, against smuggle.